I'm Markus Bornheim, consulting sales engineer in the EU, public safety and emergency services. And I'm at the wonderful Jitex event together with Dirk Engelbart from Engelbart. Say hi to Dirk. Hi, I'm Dirk Engelbart from Engelbart Software. We are a wire death connect partner and mainly we are dealing with the wire breeze technology. Dirk, I heard you might have had some experience with emergency calling in the past couple of weeks. Is that true? Uh, just a little bit. So we had a nice roadmap together with the wire. We go the path of next generation emergency calls, e-calls and all kind of uh, emergency calls, how we can bring this to the RYO. This guy is actually telling me that in emergency calling there is more than just a voice call. So, and you just mentioned e-call. What is e-call? So, yeah, e-call is a call generated by a car as soon as there is an accident, as soon as the airbags are popping up. So from 2018 onwards, there is a so-called in-vehicle system inside. You smash the car against something, the in-vehicle system gets activated and sends out an emergency call. In the first 10 seconds, it sends some MSD. These are the minimum set of data, sends the location, what kind of car and where you are. And then it is switched into hands-free so that the operator in the call center can talk to you. And there we have a little demo. This is our car. So this car we have equipped with some sensors and with a camera and as soon as this car is bumping into the wall here, it triggers an e-call as you can see here. So this is an incoming call from the car, Dirk? Yes. Okay, so show us, what, what is inside this fabulous e-call? Yeah, so if we are answering this call, we see immediately the location where the accident has happened. So this is the World Trade Center of Dubai. And this lorry was driving in this position and crashed here. So the call taker can immediately see where the crash has happened and what was the driving position. It's quite useful if you're matching on a highway which side you have to go. It's also showing us how many persons are inside. So in this car there are two persons inside and it's one on diesel. And uh, with the concept of next generation emergency calls or next generation e-calls, they will also give you information what has been loaded. All right. Are there chickens loaded? Are the chickens still alive? Or are they deep frozen? This may make a difference for the first responders. Yes. Wonderful. So, you are telling me you get precise location information with this e-call. Is that one of the biggest challenge in emergency calling? Anyhow, uh, wouldn't it be a dream? if this kind of precision information would be available with every mobile incoming call? Exactly, because if you're calling 112 or 911 or 999, you have to, the first couple of minutes is always, where are you? Yes. So if you are a foreigner, you can't tell them where you are. Maybe you are somewhere situated uh, where you can only see floodings or it's dark, it's quite hard. So this is not just a dream you're telling me? No, that's reality. But with this call taker we can do a little bit more. Okay. So what are you going to do now? I will now raise an emergency call right. using a stand-up uh, Google phone. Okay. So I call the predefined Engelbart emergency number. So it's dialing, it should pop up here. So you can see the call is coming in. We answer the call and now we have the position where the caller is located. So that's where we are right now with this phone? Yes. This is a huge enhancement to probably every public safety answering point in the world. Why isn't that implemented? What does it need? to get done from, from, from an overall perspective. Technology is available, I understand. Uh, the technology is available. So this is the Google Advanced Mobile Location Services. This has been built in inside the operating system. It's available with the latest release. 
but now I think all the public safety answering points, they have to speak with the government how to implement this best. So for example, here in the Emirates, if there's just one authority responsible for public safety, they could go to the operator and say, look, you have to implement this in each cell phone which can be sold right. in the Emirates, and then it's available. So if this is not implemented, we can start a web RTC session. All right. That means in this moment, I'm sending out an SMS to the phone. And if I'm opening up this SMS, I am ending up uh, on a web page. And now I'm starting on my web page. I am starting a web RTC session. So if I'm answering this, I can show a live video to the call taker, and he's also updating the geolocation uh, so that he sees where this phone is situated actually. And he can see some, or he gets more information of what's happening. So the situational awareness is immediately being rise to a different level. So call takers can now see what is happening outside. Yes. And well, I think this is a real enhancement for public safety and emergency services. I'm really excited, and I'm wondering how long are we going to wait until this is going to become implemented. Dirk, thank you so much for this very powerful demonstration.